Hola Tankers, and welcome to Watt Monthly. Here's what World of Tanks PC has to offer this June. A new season of Battle Pass returns in Update 1.21. Season 11 features a new vehicle lineup, including the Type 5 Heavy, the T-57 Heavy Tank, and the AMX-50 Bosch B. Minor changes to rewards with pieces of experimental equipment now available in the base rewards and gold in the improved rewards and another chance to earn Battle Pass tokens via the Collections feature, which will be active as soon as the season starts. Then, later in the season, stay tuned for more information about a temporary chapter, which will reward a new premium tank for completing the base progression. Get excited, tankers! Frontline 2023 kicks off this June. Episode 1 will feature the 30v30 same tier battles that you're used to, a brand new desert map called Fata Morgana, which features diverse terrain and special landmarks, as well as some balance improvements. Keep an eye on the World of Tanks portal for a detailed breakdown of the complete list of changes. World of Tanks Battle Royale mode returns with a revamped format and big gameplay changes. Steel Hunter Reborn is World of Tanks' fresh new take on the classic Steel Hunter mode. From improved matchmaking and vehicle rebalancing to a reworked progression and reward system and new EP integration, it's got a ton of new mechanics and improvements. Here are just a couple of the new features that stand out to me. New respawn mechanics now allow solo players to respawn within the first five minutes of the battle and offer platoons a total of two respawns per battle. You no longer have to unlock or rent vehicles. All special vehicles will be available from the start. And though there will be less players to compete against instead of the usual 20, now there will be 15, there will be no shortage of enemies. Three types of AI-controlled enemies called Marauders, each with their own unique skill and difficulty level, have been added to the mode. Destroy them to earn additional combat XP and loot as you fight to be the last tanker standing. Steel Hunter Reborn will be available from June 12th through June 25th. Check out the official article for a full breakdown on all the new mechanics and improvements. World of Tanks month-long Road to Tank Fest event kicks off in June. First stop on our itinerary are two of the biggest real-life tank events of the year. But before I tell you more about those, I should really go find a real-life tank to stand in front of. Firefly? Yep, that will do the trick. Okay, so for the first big summer tank event that's happening in real life. We got June 9th through June 11th. You can join us, the Wargaming crew, up at the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa, Canada for their annual Aquino Tank Weekend. Aquino is a perfect place to explore the ORM's 150 armored vehicles that they have in their collection. They're beautifully restored and mostly are fully operational. Um, you can check out the Chieftain, which was hand-painted with the Burling camo, or the specially retrofitted M24 Chappie, which launches t-shirts just like this one. There's also going to be a ton of live reenactments. Uh, we're going to get updates from Project Uplift, and uh, you can even purchase a tank ride. And now for the second biggest real-life tank event of the year, that is happening June 23rd through 25th. Join us at Bobbington, UK at the Tank Museum for three explosive days of historic armor on the move at Tank Fest 2023. Now, the Tank Museum is home to one of the world's only operational Tiger One. It's also the home of the star of the movie, Fury. They've got that Sherman tank there too on display. Aside from that, you're gonna have tons of live tank displays. There's gonna be a robust, historic living encampment, and even Ferris the dog from Veterans for Dogs Services Charity will be there. So be there or be square. No, I'm not saying be there be or be square. I don't like that. I don't know why I'm even saying it. It's out of here. So make sure you pick up your tickets. They're still on sale as of production today. No guarantees after that, but we would love to see you in person. And for those of you that can't make it in person, don't worry. We're gonna be hosting our live streams during both events, and those are gonna be happening on our official Twitch channel. And you know it, there are gonna be massive Tank Fest Online Twitch drops enabled. So you wanna be there or be square. That's where that makes sense. For the full schedule of events and rewards, be sure to check out the official article. That's right, but there will be more than just drops. Throughout the month of June, there will be special Road to Tank Fest offers, missions, and new goodies in the in game token store. Plus, World of Tanks is planning on releasing two historical 3D styles 
one for the Tiger One and one for the Panther. Keep an eye on the premium shop for more info on those later in the month. Then, in honor of the 79th anniversary of D-Day, on June 6, tune in to World of Tanks live streams for the chance to claim the Overlord 2D style. And as a bonus, special D-Day bundles, including the M10 RBFM and Sirocco style, will be available for purchase in the premium shop. The Million Pugs Watt 7 tournament playoffs are on June 17th and 18th. Watch the action unfold live on the official World of Tanks Twitch channel and claim exclusive Twitch drops. Don't miss out on the current Warhammer 40,000 inspired Prime Gaming package, Wings of Wrath. Simply link up your World of Tanks and Prime Gaming accounts to claim a brand new commander, two decals, and a medal made exclusively for American vehicles. Plus, receive three days of WAP Premium account and 10 missions for times five XP. This offer expires on June 21st, so claim yours today. This June, complete top of the tree missions to unlock the T-57 Heavy Tank and AMX-50 Bosch B. You'll have from June 5th to July 5th to use credit discounts on standard vehicles, missions, and special offers that will help you speed up your progress so you can reach tier 10 more quickly. That's all that I got for this episode. I hope to see many of you at Aquino Tank Weekend, and thank you for watching. Does that stand out to me? Hello. Yep, we forgot to put the light on, probably.